Welcome students. Let us see a problem from the topic permutation. Here question is, in how many ways can 5 books on chemistry and 4 books on physics be arranged in a self so that books on the same subject always remain together. Okay, very interesting question, very simple question, but question is very important. Questions uh, is generally asked in many competitive exams and as well as board exams also. Let us see the solution. Uh, let us make it clear. Five books of chemistry. Okay, suppose we are having here five books of chemistry. One, two, three, four. These are five books on chemistry and four books on physics, okay? And four books on physics. One, two, three, four books, okay? These are four books on physics. And we have to keep these books in a self so that books of the same subject always remain together. So, what are the different options of arrangement? The total number of arrangements will be our answer. So, first of all, one set of chemistry book and one set of physics book can be taken as two objects and can be arranged in two different ways in 2P2 ways. Total number of objects is 2 and objects taken at a time two means two sets okay and we have to use the formula here npr is equal to n factorial by n minus r whole factorial so here um, set of chemistry and physics books so, therefore, number of sets is equal to 2 and both the sets have to be kept together. So, therefore, n is equal to 2 and both the sets, both the sets will be kept together. Therefore, r is equal to 2 as per permutation process. So, these two sets can be arranged in therefore, these two sets can be arranged in 2P2 ways. Fine. One step. Now, another step, these five books can be arranged among themselves in how many ways? Here n is equal to 5 and r is equal to 5 because all the chemistry books have to be taken together. Again, all chemistry books can be arranged in 5 p 5 ways okay total number of books 5 all have to be taken all have to be arranged so r is 5 similarly and all physics books all physics books can be arranged in total number of books is 4 here so in this case n is equal to 4 and r is equal to 4 so, total number of ways is 4P4 ways, okay. So, all the possible arrangements will be 2P2 into 5P5 into 4P2. Therefore, total number of arrangements of all books is equal to 2P2, 5P5 and 4P4. After calculating it, we will get the result. So, 2P2 means this is 2 factorial, 5P5 means 
5 factorial and 4 p 4 means 4 factorial 2 factorial is 2 5 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 this is 120 and 4 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 means 24 and whenever we multiply these numbers we will get 576 and 0 this is the answer 5760 arrangements will be possible in this case when 5 chemistry books and 4 physics books are arranged together in such a way that all physics books are together remain uh, uh, together as well as chemistry books remain together so this is the answer okay question is very interesting hope you have understood it